The Cell of Self-Knowledge, Seven English Mystical Treaties, Author Various, Translator Edmund G. Gardner. How the Virtues of Abstinence and Patience Rise in the Sensuality, by Various. Recorded for LibriVox Coffee Break Collection, Volume 2. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. How the Virtues of Abstinence and Patience Rise in the Sensuality by Various When Leah saw that Rachel, her sister, made great joy of these two bastards born of Bilhah, her maiden, she called forth her maiden Zilpah to put to her husband Jacob having other two bastards gotten of her maiden zopa and thus it is seemly in man's soul for to be that from the time that reason hath refrained the great jangling of imagination and hath put her to be under love to god and maketh her to bear some fruit in helping of her knowing that right so the affection refrain the lust and the thirst of the sensuality and make her to be under love to god and so to bear some fruit in helping of her feeling. But what fruit may she bear? Ought but that she learn to live temperately in easy things, and patiently in uneasy things. These are they, the children of Zilpah, Gad and Asher. Gad is abstinence, and Asher is patience. Gad is the sooner-born child, and Asher the latter. For first it needeth that we be attempered in ourselves with discreet abstinence, and after that we bear outward dis-ease in strength of patience. These are the children that Zilpah brought forth in sorrow, for in abstinence and patience the sensuality is punished in the flesh. But that that is sorrow to the sensuality turneth to much comfort and bliss to the affection. And therefore it is that, when Gad was born, Leah cried and said, Happily. And therefore Gad is clept in the story, Happiness, or Silliness. And so it is well said that abstinence in the sensuality is happiness in the affection. For why ever the less that the sensuality is delighted in her lust, the more sweetness feeleth the affection in her love. Also, after when Asher was born, Leah said, This shall be for my bliss. And therefore was Asher called in the story, Blessed. And so it is well said that patience in the sensuality is bliss in the affection. For why ever the more dis-ease that the sensuality suffereth, the more blessed is the soul in the affection. And thus, by abstinence and patience, we shall not only understand a temperance in meat and drink, and suffering of outward retribution, but also in all manner of fleshly, kindly, and worldly delight, in all manner of dis-ease, bodily and ghostly, within or without, reasonable or unreasonable, that by any of our five wits torment or delight the sensuality. On this wise beareth the sensuality fruit in help of affection, her lady. Much peace and rest is in that soul that neither is drunken in the lust of the sensuality, nor grutcheth in the pain thereof. The first of these is gotten by Gad, and the latter by Asher. Here it is to wheat what first was Rachel's maiden put to the husband, or the maiden of Leah. And this is a skill why, for truly, and if the jangling of the imagination, that is to say, the in-running of vain thoughts, be first refrained, without doubt the lust of the sensuality may not be attempered. And therefore, whoso will refrain him from fleshly and worldly lust, in him behooveth first seldom or never think any vain thoughts. And also never in this life may a man perfectly despise the ease of the flesh, and not dread the dis-ease. But if he have before busily beholden the meads and the torments that are to come, but here it is to weep how that, with these four sons of these two maidens, the city of our conscience is kept wonderfully from all temptations. 
for all temptation either it riseth within by thought or else without by some of our five wits but within shall dan deem and damn evil thoughts by sight of pain and without shall gad put against false delights by use of abstinence dan waketh within and gad without and also their other two brethren helpen them full much Nephtali maketh peace within with Dan, and Asher biddeth Gad have no dread of his enemies. Dan feareth the heart with ugsomeness of hell, and Nephtali cherisheth it with behighting of heavenly bliss. Also Asher helpeth his brother without, so that through them both the wall of the city is not broken. Gad holdeth out ease, and Asher pursueth dis-ease. Asher soon deceiveth his enemy when he bringeth to mind the patience of his father and the behiding of Nephthali, and thus oft times ever the more enemies he hath, the more matter he hath of overcoming. And therefore it is that when he hath overcome his enemies, that is to say the adversities of this world, soon he turneth him to his brother Gad to help to destroy his enemies. And without fail, from that he become, soon they turn the back and flee. The enemies of Gad are fleshly delights, but truly, from the time that a man have patience in the pain of his abstinence, false delights find no warning stead in him. End of How the Virtues of Abstinence and Patience Rise in the Sensuality Recorded by Craig Campbell in Appleton, Wisconsin in 2009.